this is a short video just to show you how to set the offsets on the F1 or any other milling machine. Uh, the job that's going to be done next has got five tools to be used. Uh, we need to set a reference tool which I'm using uh, the number one tool which is a 3.3 millimeter chuck mounted drill. What I do, what I use to check that with is I use a, a gauge block point one. It's, it passes under the drill at the moment. I lower the head until it won't pass under. I apply light pressure to the side of the drill. Just raise the head until it slips under and then set the zero set the z-axis zero so that's tool number one uh, set to zero now all the other tools will be referenced from that so we raise the tool away from the block take that out from the chuck Put fit number two tool which is a three millimeter ball nosed carbide slot drill. Lower it down until it uh, until it won't pass, and apply light, just very light finger pressure on the side. Tap the head up until it passes under. Now you can take a direct reading now from the z-axis on the readout and it's telling me it's minus 47.06. So that's the offset that we enter in the program for tool number two, the three millimeter ball nose cutter. Z axis minus 47.06 millimeters. That's tool two reference. Remove that and fit tool number three, which is a 1.6 millimeter milling cutter. Lower the head down same process again just light finger pressure there it's sliding under now that's tool number three 1.6 millimeter cutter and the offset to enter in the machine program for this machining operation is minus 47.01 millimeters. 47.01. That's for tool number three. Remove that. Tool number four is a four millimeter round nose cutter, two flute, long series. Each one of those taps is one hundredth of a millimetre. Each tap that you hear moves the head up one hundredth of a millimetre. Those that have got sharp eyes would have seen the, the, the slip gauge moving in. 
So that's tool number four. And the z-axis is now reading minus 55.86 millimetres. So the tool offset reference for tool four is minus 55.86. One more tool to try, one more tool to set, move that away, this is a 6mm, 4 flute, cutter, milling cutter, bring it down. Check that it doesn't do under. Slight pressure. Now that's tool number five. And the Z axis reading is minus 59.08 millimetres. So the tool offset for tool 5 to enter in the program is minus 59.08 millimetres. I hope that's clear. It's important to get the signage right, whether it's a negative or a, we obviously don't enter a positive uh, reading, but it's important to, to enter the negative on the tool chain function. Otherwise you'll uh, you can do a check if you wish, you can bring that back to your zero. The Z axis is now set at zero, and this should just just be the fit. Passes under. I'll come down a one hundredth. There we are. That's just to check for that. I'm still set uh, centre of the axis here for the job, so I'm going to raise it, come along. I'm now going to use a one millimetre slip to uh, I now know that the point of the drill is one millimetre from the OD of the job in the chuck. I'll zero the uh, X axis and the Y axis and I now know that the centre of the drill is on the centre line of the job in the X axis and uh, it's also on the front centred on the actual front edge of the plate so that, that's the, where the job starts its travel from that's the, for the first operation so the machine is now already set up to carry out the function so that's all for now